A Carlisle nurse could be facing nearly $90,000 in debt after losing her job during the pandemic. Yes, yeah, Sonica Bargo takes a closer look. You're getting them all. Whoa! Brandy Barrick has been a nurse practitioner for nine years. I liked my job. In 2019, after a year at a new job, she signed up for the National Health Service Corps loan repayment program. I had read about the penalties and everything associated with that, and I wanted to be sure. The NHSC gave her $25,000 in exchange for working two years at an approved clinic. Help my family ultimately with, you know, paying off my loans. But less than a year later, Barrick lost her job. Her clinic said they lost patients due to COVID. She couldn't find a job at another approved clinic in the mid-state. I emailed my resumes to every single one that I could find that was within an hour and a half. In April 2020, the NHSC told Barrick she was in breach of her contract and she could owe $90,000 in penalties. I had no idea what we were going to do. The NHSC said they would help her look for a job, but it might not be local. In emails, NHSC says Barrick, quote, agreed to serve in a health professional shortage area without geographic limitation. But Barrick says moving isn't an option. My husband, he had stage four kidney cancer. The NHSC suggested she apply at two approved sites in Illinois and California. Both of which are very far away from our friends and family who we rely on for support, you know, with my husband's health and my son. Barrick decided to apply for a permanent waiver to release her from her contract. A spokesperson for the Health Resources and Services Administration, which runs the NHSC, told me the legal requirements for permanent waivers, quote, only allow them in very rare circumstances. She told me on the phone you won't be approved. The NHSC says a waiver may be granted if finishing a contract or paying the penalties is, quote, impossible or would involve extreme hardship. The organization does consider terminal illness in the family, but in July 2020, Barrick's request for a waiver was denied. Instead, she was granted a one-year suspension of her contract. That just prolongs it. Barrick renewed her suspension in July 2021 and plans to request another one this year, but she's still not sure what to do. If I don't get approved for the suspension, then I will probably end up having to lose our house and everything else. Barrick isn't the only person impacted by this. A spokesperson for the Health Resources and Services Administration told me they are trying to accommodate as many contract suspensions as possible due to the pandemic and granting renewals when needed. In the newsroom, Sonica Barco, ABC 27 News.